Hello, I am Cassiudis and I am here to show you a simple loading and unloading system with some uh, very desirable properties. So let's start by showing you it in action so you don't have to wait. Let's try to transport this. Uh, the system I had before uh, was one that the carts uh, needed to move all the time. Now they move only on demand because they use a falling edge detector. As you can see, they were able to sort of communicate and they come back to their starting places. And here we have all our items back. Let's watch again so I will explain it to you. It uses a falling edge detector here to send a card. This is the loader system. This is a system that is a loader and unloader at the same time. So you can see it uses only one hopper for both oper uh, operations. Like so. And here is the unloading system. We can see they separate here. Like the unloader system. All right. Items, when they get inside the hopper, this comparator turns on. Uh, the iter items are sucked into this chest and as soon as the chest has all the items the comparator goes off this uh, piston pulses and this pulse is uh, extended by this repeater and transmitted to this block and then the card goes the same principle applies to the loader which is almost the same circuit uh, it's I, I'm not building it with you because it's very easy to copy just just pause here and Pause here Don't forget to use this repeater on four ticks. It's very important and And as you can see as you could see you can use unloader and unloader stack it together in some places in your base and finally I'm going to show you that they are tileable like that um, I'm not sure about all the applications for that but if you need you have it it's it's here uh, like let's try to load some cars uh, here we have already two items and uh, here three items four and one so let's send the cars So there, there it is, they are completely independent. And this is the loading and the unloading system is here as well. Let's try to unload some items. Here, and here. So let's send the cards. There they go. The pulses, as you could see, are working fine. And finally, the last one, all right. So they're, they're very tiny, very easy to build. They're tileable, so you can just cop as well. Just put your hopper here and the, the flow goes like this. Here is the falling edge detector that sends the card back. And for the loader system, it's even simpler. It has two torches less. Signal goes here, falling edge detector, and the card goes. So that's it I'm going to show you today. If you need a more uh, more complete system, you can check uh, Cube Hamsters uh, because he he made one that uh, is uh, is able to detect variable loads. Uh, like if if you fill a card completely, it may break the system. You have to to com to have a control in the beginning of the chain. Uh, I'm not going to explain a lot here. Ju just check check out his video. I will put a link in the description so you can check it by yourself and finally I want to tell you that this is my first video er where I actually try to speak in English some people were asking me to talk so I'm trying here uh, it's even a funny story but it's just an experiment if you are a subscriber to my channel and you want me to just keep writing I can go back to writing I'm fine all right so hope you like it and see you.